Hello, hello. Welcome to the kitchen. I am making my favorite smoothie, which is banana, um, a blueberry, and nut milk. So I'm going to be adding a bunch of my secret ingredients. They're not so secret. I always tell you guys I drink the same thing with, a, you know, an alchemy of things. But I thought, why don't I come on and uh, chat with you a little bit about the upcoming um, energies of the moon. Oh, and just the shift to the Leo um, sun in general. So I thought I'd just come here and share a little bit and you guys can join me in making my favorite smoothie. So if you're here, say hi as usual. Let's chat. So I was just making a video on the, um, the moon energy that's coming up on July the 21st and that's the whole new the uh, full moon of Capricorn and we're talking about right now this Capricorn moon energy is interesting because last month we had the same energy it's like the same Capricorn full moon you don't have like a full moon Capricorn last month and then it's the same one this month on the same day <clears throat> there's a lot of like very intricate energies at play right now especially when it comes to expanding our consciousness and understanding who we are what we're here to do and our soul purpose hi jp so nice to see you <coughs> hakima nice to see you so i have here my super um foods collection and this is the mushroom this is my seven blends of mushroom i really love this because i love adaptogen um, I love adding a little bit of ashwagandha, you know, so we can zen out, okay? It's really good to promote stress, stuff like that. Hi, beauty. Nice to see you here. I love lucuma, and that is that, like, sweet potato-y taste. And, you know, I just, like, slap on and write, you know, I don't make it fancy. Um, what is this? Yeah, it has that sweet potato-y taste, so it's like it adds that sweet and fullness to the smoothie, which I really, really love. Um, and then, of course, we have the maca. Maca is a must, okay? If you're a woman, you're a lady here, definitely check that out, especially around, you know, the time, especially your moon cycle. <sighs> you want to be cool, calm, and collected, right? <laughs> okay, you guys know some of the chance. Okay, if you have your lady, definitely get yourself some maca. Get your lady some maca because, you know, it, it does really help with the PMS. Um, and, and it has a really good taste, okay? And my favorite always is the cacao. I love raw cacao. You know, we love chocolate, right? And raw cacao, so good for you. Also really good for, you know, mood. And it's also good for any PMS stuff, okay? Moon related stuff, okay? Wink, wink. My ladies, it's definitely a must for me. And I definitely love this pearl powder. And pearl powder is definitely for the skin, okay? For those of you who wants to glow inside and out. I love working with pearl, you know? I really resonate with the energy of anything that is truly treasured from our earth and also in ancient china they grind up pearl powder and they feed it to their younger girls that's why they grow up and have beautiful skin actually my father used to feed me that um he, he's chinese so he used to feed me that so that's that and i'll blend it up and i want to share a little bit about <clears throat> If you've been going through kind of like a moody time, let me know. If you've been going through kind of like an emotional questioning of like, what am I here to do? What am I meant to do? Because there's a lot of that new earth consciousness energy that's expanding right now, especially around like, what are you really here to do? And the path that is fun and flowy and joyful and the path that it just currently that you maybe you're on right now and you're feeling like, why am I on this path? I don't like it. I don't like what I do. I don't think I do it for the right reasons. I know there's another path for me, but why am I afraid, right? There's a lot of that afraid energy that's going on that prevents us from living our truest and highest purpose. Right, all right. And I've worked with a lot of clients over the years. I had um, two client calls yesterday. And, you know, my clients are so beautiful. They're so brave and they're so courageous. You know, one of my clients, he quit his um, Silicon Valley job to now traveling full-time. He's going through all these amazing countries. 
and he is writing a book, he's living his sole purpose, he's serving, you know, he's um, teaching people, guiding people, stepping into his true earth leader role, and he never thought that could truly be him, you know, but there he is, you know, and he, he yesterday what he was telling me was like, Tina, you will just keep on talking to me about this joy thing, you know, you've been drilling in my head, you're like, do the thing that brings you joy, focus on joy, focus on joy, and he's like, it's finally hitting, <laughs> it's like, it's finally clicking with my head, you know, a few sessions later when we have a one-on-one -on -one. and he's like I understand it now this is why I'm at the best place I've ever been I've I've never felt so light I've never felt so good in my life and he's just like you know so happy in all the different ways and he just really believes in what he's doing and he's lit up and I have no doubt he's gonna be so amazing and you guys are gonna hear so much about him in the future he's an amazing person very smart very intelligent very gifted so that's the thing, you know, sometimes when I share messages with people, uh, it's just like, you know, we're just going to drill it in, okay? We're just going to drill it in and drill it in and drill it in until it really clicks. And sometimes it doesn't click right away, you know? Sometimes when I share certain things with you guys, like trust and flow and follow your intuition and trust what the, the guidance is given, you're like, okay, Tina, great, <laughs> you know? But I bet you at some point in your life it's going to click and you'll be like, I need to mess message this woman right now you know like I, it happens to me so many times that I get messages from you guys that are like Tina I finally get it <laughs> and and that's what I always say you always understand thing and get thing on a certain level that you are receptive to it okay and I just added camu camu which is amazing for vitamin C we need a vitamin C baby you know that's why I'm so vibrant all the time what you think right vitamin C okay immune system Add some of that camu camu in your life, okay? And I'm gonna blend up some stuff right now. I'm gonna drink a smoothie and we're gonna chat about something really exciting. All right, let me know where you guys are tuning from, how you guys are doing, how you guys enjoy these kind of impromptu lives, okay? So mind the, uh, bear the sound for a second, the noise. <laughs> Okay, so we have our smoothie already. I am so happy. Belgium, you're in Belgium right now, nice. I hope the weather is good where you guys are. We have really beautiful right, weather right now. I'm in Canada. Okay, so you see this? This is like total goodness. This always puts me in a good mood, like always. And right now, um, I have my brother, my family here. Um, it's his birthday, it was his birthday yesterday, so he has a bunch of friends over, uh, my parents are here, so it's, it's quite a full house. <laughs> I think they're out for, for a bit right now, but it, they'll come back at some point. But cheers, cheers to health, cheers to wealth, cheers to abundance, cheers to love, cheers to peace, cheers to alignment, cheers to you. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk. This is delicious. My God, guys, I wish I could make like for you. But my dad doesn't like it. When I made it for him, he's like, what does it taste weird? <laughs> and I'm like, it doesn't taste weird. It tastes good. Um, but, you know, I like my super food, but I don't know if wh whoever else thinks that's, that's weird. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about divine creations and following your true path, OK? 
Okay, so when you are feeling into like whatever I'm doing right now, it's not serving me. Whatever I am doing right now is not the path that God, Source, the Divine. Has laid out for me, and I must pivot, and I must do the true thing. But I'm not sure the true thing is the true thing. Okay, who feels this? It's like maybe you're feeling like okay, maybe I'm meant to do something with、um, the energy, like readings, the cards, the crystals, or maybe I'm meant to do something with the sound healing and the、uh, singing bowls and the whatever, right? Maybe I'm meant to do something with、uh, teaching people and doing coaching about self love and self care and like whatever, you know, like. But is it true? Am I really meant to do that? Like, does it really work? Is it really viable? Can I make money? Can I make a living? Okay. And I want to have a really real talk with you. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you.、Um, yeah. You know, just be active in the chat. You know, it's like rare that I go live, and I love to connect with you guys. Is that energy of really not even trusting yourself, but trusting the divine role that God source. The light has given to you, you know, and I can tell you from experience. I've done a lot of stuff in my life, you know. I've walked a lot of paths in in my life. I'm talking about career here. Is whatever I do is based on what God has shown me, okay? What source, the highest light, has says, Tina. This. Is it you know? And not this is it. Isn't like this is what you're meant to do forever. It's always this is what you're meant to do now. This is what you're meant to take action on now. Okay. And universe can only show you the next step. Okay. And this is why when you go out and you see the one one ones, the two two two, the feathers and stuff like that, it's like okay, can this feather make sense of my entire life and existence? Can this one 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 sign that I see on the back of you know the license plate、uh, tell me what I'm meant to do only in the in my life? No, because you're not meant to do one thing in your life. Okay, I don't know if you've seen the statistics of how many jobs, how many different career paths that people actually have in their lives. Okay, they've worked quite a few jobs. Okay, and also known that it's beyond career. And what I'm talking about career is that we have the full moon in Capricorn happening、um, on the twenty first, which is all about career. Okay, so your career, your soul path is being highlighted, but it's more about your divine purpose. Okay, your divine purpose, and and even just listen to the word I'm I'm saying to you, divine purpose, soul purpose, meaning that your soul, your higher self, your bigger energy, your spirit, God source, okay, that big energy, has a plan for you, okay, has a divine path and purpose paved for you, and what that means is that if that path is paved by God, paved by the light, paved by your angels. Paid by your higher self, they can back you the f up. Do you feel me? You understand what I'm saying, okay? They can back you the f up, okay? Because they can open the doors and the opportunities that you can't. You understand? Because you don't see the picture. You're here, you know, seeing the path and seeing what your eyes can see. But if you're thinking like, you know, imagine your higher self or your angel, or think of it as like a、uh, like an eagle, right? Really flying up high, and they're seeing this bird's eye view of like, okay, actually, if you turn left a little bit, you're gonna make it there. You're like, how does that make sense? Look at this left way. We don't go that way. They said, do not enter. It's a narrow path. It, I don't think that it's a you know, like because your eyes cannot see it. You feel me? Your eyes cannot see it, but your higher self, God, source, universe, angels. See that, and they're guiding you in in into that path. So, what does it mean? Oh, I forgot my drink. <laughs> what does it mean spiritually speaking? What it means for you is that the path that you're meant to go on makes sense for you right now. Okay, and your human mind. The pro, no, I'm not, I'm saying not saying human mind is in like your natural human mind. I'm saying that your human mind that has been programmed. It has been programmed and conditioned, okay, to believe in the linear way of doing things. Believe in if I do something, if I'm a, if I fail or if I succeed at it, there's only two paths: fail or success. It's not true. 
Okay, you learn through everything. Every successful entrepreneur out there will tell you that they learn from their failures. Okay, they they. But I don't even look at things as failure. You know, I'm an entrepreneur myself, and I've done a lot of different businesses and different things, and I never fail. It's not about failing. It's about learning. Right? You learn through something that works, and you learn through something that doesn't work. But also, it's always in my world. Okay, and this is how I coach people. It always works because I don't do things because oh, let me think about what can I do to make money. Oh, let me think what I can do right now so I can. Feel like I'm a successful person in society. What can I do right now so that I can, you know, make my uh, parents and stranger proud of me when I walk down the streets? Okay, I don't think like that. Okay, what I feel into is what does God wants me to do? Okay, what is my divine purpose? You know, how may I serve? How may I serve? How may I contribute? How may I share what I'm meant to share? Okay, what am I meant to share? What am I meant to do? You know, and I ask God, and I ask the divine, and I ask the highest light, and I ask the whatever. Okay, that energy, and I'm using different words here, so you, you know, resonate to whatever it is that you feel resonate with. And it's not about the wording; it's about every one of us. We connect with that higher energy, and the 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 language is irrelevant to me. But it's more about. The the highest source that wants you to expand your potential, and you have to understand your true role is a divine、um, channel. Okay, I talked about this in my seven seven masterclass, which is free, by the way,、um, in my bio still. So if you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm talking about. Go watch it. It's free. It's my gift for you until the end of the month. The energy of you being a the, the the channel of the divine will allow you to be so successful in whatever it is that you do. Okay, when I when I got the calling that Tina, you need to share your、um, spiritual insights through tarot cards reading, through oracle oracle cards reading, through angel cards reading. You know, I created the channel. On YouTube, I started doing readings. You know, I started sharing my、um, knowledge, and I I started teaching people globally about how to read tarot card、uh, oracle cards intuitively. I was invited to speak at one of the the, the biggest, like one of the biggest tarot summit. You know, in the world, speaking with people that I really respect. Okay, which is John Holland. You know, and. A lot of the, the, the a lot of the big names in the tarot world, I was placed there as one of the guest speakers, and the reason why I'm able to have so much success, the moment I literally like decided that I'm gonna do that, and how I picked up these skills and and these ability is because I just trust in what I'm hearing. Okay, it's not like I was doing tarot cards、uh, or whatever cards reading for years. I I really had a moment where I was told to 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 take it. I put my hand on it. I feel like I got the knowledge. I got the download, and then I just start doing it. And it was it felt natural. And the reason why I'm able to do that, and this is what I teach my client, is that you you have a natural ability. I've never talked about this before. Every one of us we have an ability to download templates. Okay, have you heard of the divine downloads before? You can actually download templates. You can actually download the templates of successful entrepreneur, a millionaire, uh, 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 an artist. Okay, a a, a reader, a intuitive guide, a coach. You can download any template you want. Okay, but the template needs to be given by the person, the person, the energy, God. Okay, the divine that wants you to have it. Okay, so this is why we have to listen. Okay, and when I heard the calling that Tina, you are meant to not, you you are meant to go beyond the cards. I love my cards, guys, but I actually currently don't even own any. That's crazy, right? It's like I had a very successful YouTube channel. I had a large following, made a lot of money with doing that. Helping people doing that, and it's still people asking me to this day. <laughs> and I said I don't do that,、um, and that, it's because I felt like it's true for people to be able to tap into their own intuition. I feel like my true calling is to teach you and guide you on how to do that, to mentor you, and not be like, okay, let me do it for you, and then you can sit back and relax. Okay, that's just not how I feel my、um, highest purpose was. 
So what happened? Well, what happened was I totally closed down all the you know the tarot the card reading like you don't even see it on youtube i had over like i think three thousand videos you know with a lot of views and i just deleted all of them because i was really ready for a new identity i wanted to be seen for me okay personally and then also the the voice of guidance the voice of spirit was telling me that tina you need to be seen for your true gifts Okay, and my true gift is coaching and mentoring. My true gift is a spiritual guide. I can take you. I can help you get to where you want. Okay, and I'm not gonna be like, well, this is what I see for the future for you. And okay, on on you go. Bye bye. You know, like I feel like I'm not fulfilling my destiny path, right? So then I open up um, coaching. Uh, programs, containers, you know, I started taking on private clients and it was like a whole thing, you know, it was like, it, it, it took off, it was amazing, you know, a lot of you guys are my clients and this is the energy of like, when I listen to what my true path is, I don't need to figure it out on my own. I trust it in my God-given, remember, hear what I'm saying, God-given ability, okay, because it's God given to me. I know I have these abilities. I know I have these gifts. I know I have these skill set that is really abnormal that I can't just download it. I just get it, you know, instantly. And it's because I'm ready. I'm truly ready to serve. Do you understand? Like what I do is not based on, oh, so I can be the most popular person on, online, so I can be cool and I can be accepted by society, so I can have your approval. Sorry to say, but I really don't give a crap about whether you approve of me or not, <laughs> or anyone, you know? And I really do things because it is my path and I cannot not do it. Do you understand? So when you start doing things from a I don't give a F place like that, and you do things from I only listen to the only voice that creates me and that created everything on this earth, and it has this great power. When you're working with the biggest power on the universe, the universe, <laughs> you know, the divine, you're working with the biggest power source, and you tell me that you're not going to be successful, I don't believe you. I believe that if you're going to do, if you're going to walk the true path, you will be successful always, okay? So this is why when I work with my clients, especially with my private one-on-one, -on -one, I don't take on many one-on-one -on -one clients, but the ones I do take on, I always ask, like, what, do you know what you're here to do, Okay. And are you going to be committed and devoted to that, right? And I feel like that's my criteria, to be honest, because there's no point of, of you stalling and I'm like seeing what your potential is. It's not, it's going to be very uncomfortable working together, you see? So for me is I'm calling in the people who know that they're here to do the big things and they know what it is. Maybe they're scared. I, you know, that's where I come in. It's okay to have fear. It's okay to have doubt. And this is where I come in. But if you are ready to do something about it, if you're committed to living your highest path, then there's a match, okay? You're a match for greatness. You're a match for great abundance. You're a match for really happiness and a wealth of peace, soul alignment, um, joy and abundance of you know, even finances, right? Because the universe wants you to use these God-given gifts to give to people. Do you understand? Right? So when I step into what, okay, what am I hearing right now? What does the universe want me to do right now? And then I do it. And it's always, it's always successful. It's always successful. It's always making sense to me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's always big because, because I'm backed up by a big energy. Okay, it's not going to make sense to my friends, I can tell you that. It's not going to make sense to my family, I can tell you that. Okay, it's not going to make sense to nobody, I can tell you that. But it makes sense to me. Okay, so what does it mean for you? It means for you that your soul purpose is going to only make sense to you. Okay, it's going to make sense to you and so much sense to you. And, and it makes so much sense that it's scary at the same time because it's not the sense, it's not logical. 
okay? The sense is not logical. I used to work nine to five in a corporate environment, in a very professional environment, okay? And then you're telling me that my path is like this spiritual guide right now trying to help people stepping into the truest and highest purpose, you know? It's just like, what? <laughs> right? It, it's, it's, a, it's a very big path. It's a very, you know, vast difference. And for that to happen, I need to surrender to my true identity, okay? My true identity is this, okay? And my false identity is, okay, let me play small, let me play safe, let me sit in this cubicle for as long as I can and pretend like this is what I want to do. It's not what I want to do. Okay? What I want to do is create. What I want to do is channel. What I want to do is help you. What I want to do is guide you. What I want to do is awaken the leader in you. Okay? Because I know that's my purpose. Okay? And if you're drawn to me and if you're drawn to my energy, what that means is that you're here for greatness because it has to match. You know, like energy, like attract like energy. Okay? So if you're attracted to this energy, meaning that there's something in you that needs to be awakened, that is ready to be awakened, that is that has been awakened, but now ready to be expanded. Do you feel me? Right? So just know that when you're um when you are ready for something, you're a match to the things, the places, the people, the knowledge. So what does that have to do again with your soul purpose right now? Well, your soul purpose right now is to um be firm in what it is for you. So don't be playing, you know, yo-yo, you know, don't be playing, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I feel like I already know that my path is this way. I don't know what it is exactly, but I know that it's this way, okay? And I know that it's not the office, and I know it's not, you know, babysitting, and I know it's not, you know, doing something for $5, okay? I want you to be very clear that just because someone, okay, it's doing the things that you're doing for five dollars and you're questioning how am i gonna make money doing what i really want that doesn't have to be your story do you understand this doesn't have to be your story like there are people out there selling um to say okay let's just do tarot reading you know when, when i when i started doing tarot readings like i know there are people who sell tarot readings for five dollars okay how do you walk uh, like even on um new york or whatever the street and you see okay five dollars five dollars readings you know like my readings were not five dollars they were well over a hundred dollars the first time i had anything like that and then now they're like hundreds of dollars and people still sign up right and the reason be, and, and the reason because i know that path is not my path the five dollar path is not my path so it's like i'm not gonna be like oh how am i gonna make money doing that i'm gonna do things that is true for me do you understand it's just like how people are like i don't know how i want to make money from acting i don't know how i want to make money from my art i don't know how i'm gonna make money from like just really you know living my true purpose you can have do you know someone you have to find an example okay do you know that there's like a brad pitt and angela and angelina jolie out there making millions on the film right? And who says you have to be a starving artist? You can be very successful. I know artists, I have clients who are artists who make hundreds of thousands of dollars for their painting, okay? You hear that? You hear what I just said? My client made over a hundred thousand dollars for the painting, okay? It's very real, okay? It's very real. So, allowing yourself to be the true artist of your life and don't, and don't let you know, whatever you think that artists don't make money, you know, thing blocks you, right? And if you're an artist yourself and you want to explore this path, well, don't always go for the cheap option. Go for the true option, right? That's why I always say, you know, blueberries. Do I buy the normal blueberries or do we go for the organic blueberries? Because we want the best. We want the true thing right so this is where i want you to feel into what is true for you feel into the purity energy the pure soul purpose and you get to have it all 
Okay, and if there's anything you get from this is, you know, I'm the living example. You know, I don't make these videos for you know my own entertainment. You know, I'm sharing these messages for you so that you understand that there is an example of somebody out there who's living her purpose, who is very happy, joyful, love, abundant. Like it's possible. Okay, you need to understand the tools. You need to op be open to the opportunities. You know, and like for me right now, I always listen. When the universe says do this, I will do it. You know, right now, what the universe is sharing with me is that, you know, it's important for you to not only help people and guide people, but also to give them something very tangible. Give your people something very tangible that they have your energy, they have your protection, and they have that code. You know, of 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 wellness, the code of enlightenment, the code of spiritual. Expansion and protection. So, and what I heard was like how I'm gonna encode it is through crystals, right? So that's why I've been uh, working on something very exciting. You know, I've been creating. Okay, the universe is telling me to start creating um, codes. Okay, crystal codes in jewelry, in wear, in in beads. Okay, whatever it is that is important for you to. Create these things and give it to the people who feels called to access these codes right now. So I've been doing something like that. Very exciting. Okay. So we have the intuitive goddess here. This is, this is designed to open up your intuitive energy and your healing ability. So I'm creating this piece for my healers. Okay. For my intuitive goddesses who wants to tap into their intuition in terms of. Career in terms of impact, in terms of spiritual insights, in terms of wealth, in terms of abundance, all the healing codes are in here. This is lavender, um, amethyst, and we have a bunch of really precious stones here. Okay, and then this is the one that was channeled through me, and this is the energy of purity. This is the purity bracelet. Okay, that was channeled through me, and the divine was saying that we're encoding the. True alignment code, which is love, light, and peace. Love, light, and peace. So every time I'm making this bracelet, every time I'm putting the beads in, it's love, light, and peace. I activate that energy. It goes by three, three, and three, and it's gonna combine together with this selenite crystal right here. It's a very special stone that I work with, which brings out purity, peace, and amplification of that aligned energy. Because whatever you're meant to do, you're meant to do it from a calm, cool, collected, and aligned, pure place. Okay. So currently, I'm working on this right now. Um, I'm only gonna be doing a few because I do have to do this by hand. So for those of you who are interested in receiving one of these, okay, they're gonna be sold out very soon when I announce it. You can send me a DM at Tina Wong zero zero zero, and I'll reserve one for you. And last time I shared something like that, a seven seven portal, it was all sold out within the hour. Okay, so this is something that I am called right now to start doing and start giving to you. Okay, and all of these is gonna be blessed. It's all all of it is gonna be encoded, and you're gonna be getting a whole transmission with all of my、um, creations. And the thing here is that I know the path that. Whatever it is that you're called to be on, what you're gonna need is understand your purity, your alignment, and what you're gonna need is to understand that you are protected. Okay, and I know that I'm able to do a lot of really powerful things and have a lot of impact、um, in this world because I know who's behind me. Okay, I know the energies that's walking with me is behind me, and a lot of. The people who are very intuitive,、um, psychic, they always tell me that I I see I see your team of guys behind you, okay. And a lot of you guys actually tell me that like you actually you see me, but you also see this really big energy behind me. And I know the angels, the guys, you know that big big. Energy that walks behind me, and it's a protective energy. Okay, and how I'm able to do big things because I'm I'm protected. So I feel like one of the things that people need in this world is protection. And all of the things that I wear, like jewelries, personally, it's always from people who personally make them and gifted them to me. Okay, it's very important because that is protective energy. 
okay, from true love, from true protection. When I was going to Tibet, it was a very, oh my gosh, guy, I don't know if you've ever been to Tibet or if you've heard of it, it's very high in elevation. It's a very difficult terrain, like you could barely breathe. And all the clothes that I were wearing to Tibet, it wasn't my clothes. It was my mom's, my uncle's, my dad's, my really good friend, okay? And all of that is my protective wear, okay? And it really got me through a time where I honestly, I couldn't breathe. It was like really, it was coughing up like blood, guys. It was really difficult terrain. And that's how I was getting through. It's because it's from true, pure love. So I'm like, you know what? I say yes to this. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for allowing me to be that channel, that divine channel to give this to you. So I'm going to be making a few of these uh, protection bracelet that is encoded with love, light, and peace, and true alignment. And this is the intuitive goddess energy to activate your healing and your intuitive ability that you're here to help people, you're here to heal yourself. And I'm only going to make a very few Okay, for the ones who are really truly attracted to this and who feels called to have my personal love and protection with it. So, you know, every bracelet is it's gonna be having their owner, their healer, their true person who knows that this is belongs to them. Okay, so I'm excited to be doing that for you guys. Like I said, I haven't really launched it on the website, so no one knows about it okay so if you know that you are the few okay or the one who are meant to receive this i i not joking when i say I'm only gonna do the few okay there's only a few <laughs> so if it's gone it's gone like that's that's it you know so if you feel called to receiving one of these protective um, bracelet that i personally make and activate and send for your own protection and activation DM me at Tina100 and you can pre order them, okay? And I'll send you the info um, when I have them. But other than that, this is a reminder again for you to move in a direction that is true for you because the direction that you're meant to move in is meaningful. You know, what I do, what I'm doing is meaningful, it's so pure, it's from God, it's from Source. And when I move that way, I know I'm being protected. I know I'm being backed up. I know that it's the true path because it feels very joyous. It feels like very abundant. You understand? So when you are receiving these bracelets, when you're receiving these codes, when you're receiving my handmade item, hand activated and blasted items, you're going to receive these codes. Okay? You're going to receive these tangible blessings and you're also going to have a constant reminder of protection and i'm going to be wearing them too so you'll always be connected with my energy this is why it's so meaningful for us to do things from our pure path because the, the, the truth is we're here to create amazing work in this life we're here to help our brother and sister rise okay i have no joy in like creating all these protective things and i keep them for myself Okay, I'm very protected. I can tell you nothing can mess with me. Okay, spiritually, nothing can mess with me. I am very protected. Okay, my angel, my guys, the universe, I am backed up by very big energy. Everything I do is successful. Everything I do makes me happy. My life is great. Okay, and I want to send this blessing onto you. I want my team of angels to be activated and working for all the ones who feel that they are ready to step into their highest alignment in their purity. And that's what I want. I want you to receive the codes that I have personally received, that, I can, that I'm able to do the things without overthinking, over worrying. I'm able to heal myself. I'm able to stop and download the true template. And you can do it too. You can do it too when you're open to the energy, when you're open to the protection, when you are in your true alignment, love, light, and peace. You know, when you're ready, you know, it'll come. When you're ready, it'll come. When you're ready, it'll come. Okay? So, again, guys, big reminder, this is our time. I love you. Okay? I trust you that you're going to do amazing on your path because what you're going to listen to is the voice of spirit. Okay, I don't want you to listen to anything else. Listen to the voice of spirit. Move that way. If you're 
open to receiving that activation, that energy, that purity, these bracelets that I haven't announced, okay? This is the intuitive goddess again, and this is the purity, okay? So if you want to pre-order them, send me a DM, and if I have any left, I will reserve you a spot, okay? I love you so much, and let me know what you think down below. Like this and share this if this is helpful for you. I love you.